let's go back to testing for stomach acid. The first test that you can do simply at home is the steak test. And all you do here is you take a six ounce steak, cook it to where it's ideally um, well done, right? So it's, it's not like it's rare and medium rare, well done. So should be easy to break down for your, your system and digest. So you go ahead, you cut that up. You can add salt if you want, but nothing else. All you're eating is the steak. You consume the steak and then you see how you feel for the next two to three hours. Ideally, you should feel really good. You should have great energy. There's a lot of protein in there. Healthy fats should be very good for blood sugar stability. You should notice that you feel good when you eat that steak. If you notice you're burping, belching, that you've got gas, bloating, that you have more pain in your body, you feel really tired after eating that, that's a sign you may not be producing enough stomach acid. And that's why the food is just sitting there. It's fermenting, it's creating gas, it's stressing your system, causing all these unwanted symptoms. So that would be a sign you're not producing enough stomach acid. If you pass the steak test, great. That's a sign you're probably producing enough stomach acid. Another test you can do is the apple cider vinegar test. And with this test, all you do is you drink a little bit of apple cider vinegar, take one tablespoon and about four ounces of water. So you dilute it, so it's not real harsh, and you drink that, and then you repeat the steak test. And if you notice that you feel better after doing the apple cider vinegar than you did before you did that, that's a sign that you kind of basically have like a mild stomach acid deficiency and that the apple cider vinegar itself will help improve your symptoms. And that's good because you don't need to take supplements or anything like that. That's a good sign. Now, if you drink apple cider vinegar diluted in, in a, you know, one tablespoon and four ounces of water, so it's diluted, you drink it and you notice pain in your stomach that's a sign you might have an ulcer. You might have a gastric ulcer in your system. So you might have an actual, um, you know, an ulcer is where there's actual tissue damage and there's a wound in your stomach. And so now the apple cider vinegar go goes in and it will actually inflame that ulcer, that inflame that area of tissue damage. And that's why you're noticing the pain. If that's the case, you don't want to use apple cider vinegar. You know, you don't want to use a lot of lemon or lime or anything that's kind of acidic. And instead you want to really focus on mucilaginous type of herbs, aloe vera, marshmallow root, um, slippery elm. You can do teas with these. You could do gels, like there's aloe vera gel that works really well. There's powders, L-glutamine is another good thing. Um, licorice root, all those things really help with um, healing and strengthening that, that stomach lining. So that's really key there. <music>